is SSA something that you can talk to others about? Is it something that people can understand? We talked about in the last video possibly sharing your struggle with a confidant. The question is, is the SSA struggle something other people can be open to hearing about? Is it something that they can possibly understand if they don't experience it themselves? What would such a conversation look like? Now obviously we can't speak to everyone, but I have a reason to believe that most people can be understanding and sympathetic to the struggle. The real challenge might only be, how do you put it across and how do you view it yourself? You see, if you've done your homework and you have some sort of understanding what's going inside of you and what your SSA really is, then you will know that it's really not who you are. It's an experience you're experiencing. When you look at it as something that you're experiencing or something that you're merely, merely feeling and that you're aware of, it makes it much easier to put it out there to someone who is a stranger to the idea. Think of it like explaining to someone how you crave a certain food. Even if it's a food that you might never have before because let's say it's not kosher, but the smell entices you so and how you wish for the day that it's going to become kosher so you can taste it. And there are foods like I feel like this about. However, if you view yourself as a freak and you are trying to talk to someone who is not an expert in the field, you're probably going to come across the way that you feel about it. Such sensitive issues are really prime examples for that which we know there's a famous saying, the way you perceive yourself, the, so you shall per be perceived by others. It really, it really boils down to that. And that plays directly into why might you be reaching out to someone. If you want support and you feel lost, who are you going to reach out to? You would want to reach out to someone who you either know can help you or who can possibly find out the right person for you to be in contact with. If that's the case, you obviously have this person's trust and you don't need to be super, super concerned about how you're coming across. But if you're reaching out to someone for your own sake because either you just need to talk about it and have a listening ear, or because you're looking for advice but you have a pretty good handle on your SSA, and if it does and or does not affect you, then you'll be more in a role of the educator when you're talking to someone and you'll educate them what's going on with you. As long as you're able to calmly answer any questions that that person has, then you're in control of how they perceive it. Most people, even if they can't understand, will be able to support you emotionally and respect your struggle and respect you even more for trying to figure it out, how to deal with it. Sometimes it might seem hard to reach out and ask someone for help or support, but ultimately it is much harder to struggle and take the journey alone. You'd be surprised how many people would be open-minded enough to listen and try to understand your plight. More people than you think, and taking the risk and jumping in is so worth it. But ultimately it's up to you.